love it, love it, love it. Uh oh. <laughs> so good it hurts. I don't want it. I gotta, gotta have it. Uh oh. Yeah, good start. <laughs> is, is this the start to the. To yeah, the... yeah, yeah, of course, of course, please. That's a long I, song. I love it, I love it. <laughs> yeah. Shogo-san, I am so excited again to be with you. Oh, yeah. We're looking at raw material to finish part right here in one cell, which we're getting ready to show the audience. And when it's done, it goes straight to assembly, doesn't it? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So let's take a walk over here uh -huh. and show the audience from, from uh, raw material to finish part how yep. you guys are doing it here at Nakamura Tome. Okay, so from raw material to complete path. We have the one, our Super NTX, our product, and one five-axis machine center from Yasuda-san. Yep. So this cell, so robot also from FANAC, have the many jobs. So loading and loading to material to NTX, and then after machining, and come to here. So, so we're starting more. with the raw material yep. here. We're utilizing the Nakamura machine with the FANAC robot. Yep. It's obviously doing automation and yeah. loading and unloading. So over here, it looks like we have uh, some sort of work desk, but what's going on? What's the process? Yeah, so in this process is after machining the turret and come here and put on Kavik to turret. And then the robot tighten the bolt. So after this process, go to the five axis machine center. So then we're looking at the Yazda machine you have over yep. there, five axis machining. I think it's, we can make the assumption that yep. it's doing some sort of work that's very accurate on that's the Yazda right. machine. That's right. And then after it's been machined on the five axis, what happens after that? Yeah, after that and come to here is uh, go to deburring. So and then we have deburring. And is that the last piece of the process? Yeah, the last piece of the process. And then it goes into assembly from that point with no further work. That's right. And let me ask you, Shogo-san, as I'm looking here, we have our camera guy uh, kind of showing the audience everything that's going on. I see a big fence. I yep. see some walls here. Is this all being done without human interaction? Yeah, no human interaction. So this part is uh, we put the material, eight material at here, and eight, eight complete parts at here. So the about cycle time is uh, three hours. And we put the eight material, it means the 24 hour automation. In that we operate is a six day per one week. It's depend on the operation rate. And Shogo-san, as I'm looking here, we're looking at a raw blank going into a finished part. Okay. But is this the only thing that we're doing here or is this able to be adapted for flexibility to do multitasking on other parts as well? Oh yeah. So we also make the turret and we also make the spindle by ourselves, from material to complete path. And also, this is very important for machine tool builders. Of course, we can buy third parties, turret and spindle. But uh, you know, if the customer have the request or a customer have the trouble, so it's easily we can answer the customer's request and the problem. So because we make these parts in our house, so this is, I think, important thing for Nakamura Tome. And uh, of course, uh, yeah, this, this is very important for Nakamura Tome. Shogo-san, sometimes they call me Captain Obvious. And I'll tell yeah. you why. It's because I ask obvious questions. OK. But I have to ask you, because I look around, there's only a couple of people in here. The reason I asked you about the cell is because there's no human interaction. Yep. Here at the factory in Japan, how important is automation to you? Oh yeah, it's so important. It, uh, now, of course, I said it's difficult to hire the high skilled people. And also, one mainstream is an uh, operator don't like the night shift. Two shift, uh, three shift, they don't like now. And uh, it's different from the, yeah, several years ago. It, uh, now this uh, stream is uh, very big. So we want to change the uh, way of thinking. And also, important story, I have one. Um, before, so install this automation system, we have the many uh, human interaction job and assembly and operating machine. So, but in after install this automation process, huge one, and these worker 
So work at this factory. Still, the, these worker work at this factory. This is very important. Mm -hmm. So we set the future vision, and uh, they have the motivation of automation. The now is that they work for more difficult turret, uh, more difficult shape, customized low volume turret, and it requires more human skill. Yeah. That is so, so, so important, Shogo-san. I think so. How many times do we talk to the audience at MTD and say robots and automation are not taking jobs? They're allowing people to get back to their creativity. As Shogo-san just said, the more complicated, more precision jobs, let the automation, let the robots do the mundane, the redundant, right? Yeah. Allow people to get back to their lives by reducing a third shift. Let this be the third shift yeah. and let the humans get back to enjoying life. That's what it's all about, isn't it? Yeah, that's right, that's right. And also, the, this robot is our great colleague, yeah? busy worker. Yeah? So we and automation system, it collaborate well. It is a good collaboration. Now, as you guys know, these conversations are unscripted. So I oftentimes ask questions that I find fascinating in the middle of conversations. Okay. So I have to ask you, Shogo-san, when I see Nakamura Tome around the world, mm -hmm. there are automation cells that allow people to do exactly what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Does the inspiration of you here in Japan with your own employees lead to that automation and inspiration around the world for all the other employees out there as well? That's right. That's right. Thank you. And uh, we have the own automation system and the Gantoi Roda robot cell and bar feeder. And this is very important. We use this system in our factory and we push a customer and we propose a customer new style so this is very important huh? it is very important and we're going to close this thing out just by saying when we practice what we preach when we utilize the same things in our facilities when it's mother machines and yeah. grandmother Drama. machines making their own product and saying not only do we want you to automate, but we're doing it ourselves and in a way that creates massive success, the reduction of real estate, the allowance for uh, people to enjoy their lives again. This is the conversation. And this is the reason why I'm so grateful to be here with my friend Shogo-san, showing you guys the manufacturing that's done here in Japan with Nakamura Tome. Thank you.